Losing sucks. Losing at home sucks even more than that. We had a chance to be ranked this season. We were 30th in terms of championship contenders. We've dropped to 39 following a loss to Boise State, who's now bowl eligible. It's frustrating. It's frustrating to lose. I hate it. We went to a different playbook, and it clearly costs us because we just didn't have the same offense that we've had the entire rest of the season. But this is the final game of the regular season. If you did not watch to the end of last episode, we got some major new commits. TJ Fields has been there. JD Lewis has been there. But two five stars in the form of New Jersey pipeline potential Adam Daniel and Marion Bates out of Poughkeepsie, New York. Really, really good player. They say he's a quarterback. I say he's a corner. But we went from having an extremely weak quarterback room, in my opinion. I mean, look at the team. Look at the team. We have Andy Byers, who's leaving. He will be gone. And then after that, Ryan Davis is going to lead us to the promised land. I'm sorry. Like, he's fine as a backup. But Ryan Davis will not be our guy. I mean, no shot. I'm sorry, Ryan. I wish the best to you. Enter the transfer portal, maybe. But he's just not dynamic enough. And the guys that we're bringing in, they they probably can be. They probably can be. So we went from a fairly weak QB room, in my opinion, to, you know, being quite good in that department. You can see that Florida is still holding on 11 and 0, number one spot. Georgia, Alabama, LSU, three straight SEC teams after the number one SEC team fighting to be ranked that high. Seven and three Notre Dame is number six. Is that a joke? <laughs> and uh, yeah, obviously no votes for us, unfortunately, at uh, number 39. We do show a lot at the end of the episode, so I would implore you to stay to the end, but we can see the award finalists. The Maxwell has Will Levis. Not going to see a whole lot of Riverside players here. Walter Camp is Will Levis. I will update you if any Riverside players are in here, which they should be at least on defense. Joel Pitts is set to win the Lombardi Award. Adrian Chandler at third. Awesome. And, and Greg Hall should be there for best linebacker. It's really stupid that he's not. It's really, really stupid. But it is what it is. What are you going to do? Let's see our bowl projections, though. Yeah, the Gators are probably going to win the CFP. But we are currently slated to face Northern Illinois in the famous Idaho Potato Bowl. That sounds awful. Hopefully we win today and uh, <laughs> draw a better opponent. I, I know all too well about playing in the RNL Carriers New Orleans Bowl from Ozark State Outlaws Dynasty, if you guys remember that. As you can see, Andy Byers was top 10 in the nation in passing yards. Also led the team in rushing yards. Nearly 1,000 yards on the year for him. Receiving leaders Michael Hamm has 833. And then Bruce Clemens actually leads the league in tackles. Leads, it, leads the entire nation, I should say. Leads the team, too. Greg Hall at second. And then Joseph Brown at fourth. None of those guys are award finalists. Adrian Chandler, Phil Walker... Most sacks in the nation. Joel Pitts in the top five. And then Ezekiel Sims, four picks, leads away there. So we've seen a little update. Now let's see the final game of the year. After a home loss, we're headed on the road to face UNLV in what will be, again, the final regular season game. Air raid offense coming back out. Let's make a statement. Let's destroy this team at Allegiant Stadium. Why did I say E-Legion? We're at Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas, Nevada. Is Allegiant Stadium in the game? Sure looks like it. But it's the Cotton Bowl in-game. You can see, welcome to the home of the AT&T Cotton Bowl. No, but it is Allegiant Stadium by the text. So ignore the text on the actual stadium. And look at the graphic, please. Let's go, Willie. Make a statement. This feels like our bowl game. Just because it's in a dome, I guess. And it, you know, it feels like a neutral side game, but it's actually not. Need the offense to come out. Let's just get a win and let's and let's move on. 
bowl game off season and then the fun stuff begins start of a new season so excited 12 game schedule next season and we should be pretty good Aaron Duvall can't haul that one in feels good to be back in the air raid offense that you know features our occasional read options which are maybe a little bit more than occasional if you've seen the series that's why Andy Byers has been so amazing this year and hopefully our offense continues to be amazing long term read option ooh they read that pretty well just couldn't make the play we fool this safety we're gonna try it we're going over the top Michael Ham, big play machine Ham's over the top 60 yard catch Michael Ham's the best receiver on our team I don't care that John Humphreys is playing up into the 90s Michael Ham is the clear best receiver on the team in my opinion John Humphreys just doesn't do it for me. I know all you in the comments have a, uh, a wet noodle for him. Andy Byers, six yard rush. By wet noodle, I mean uh, not a wet noodle. You guys are sexually attracted to John Humphreys. That's okay. But you know what? That's all right. That's all right. It's just, he's a big distraction and I'm cool with that. Reggie Gonzalez up the middle, touchdown. Royals on the board first. Why is that happening? You're lying. It's connected. And Iowa has held on to defeat Nebraska led by Luke McCaffrey. 35-34. What a game that was. You know, the new approach has to be like, oh, John Humphreys isn't getting the ball. Wah. The new approach has to be win the game no matter what, any way, anyhow. I don't care who gets the ball, who doesn't get the ball. We're going to win the game. Courtney Reese, 33 yards up the middle. Now, that isn't great to be talking about. We're just going to win the game, blah, 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 blah. And they have a 33-yard gain on their first offensive snap of the game. But we're, we're going to figure it out. Quick throw, incomplete. Kenyon Oblad not off to a good start today. And looks like they're going for it. Fourth and two. They're trying to keep up. I mean, this is the this is the field position you go for it. Long field goal, and uh, you know you don't you don't trust your kicker. And we're just getting run all all over by Courtney freaking Kardashian. Courtney Reese Witherspoon. Option play. Hall in the backfield brought him down. Oblad manages to fall forward for a yard though. It's third and four. Defense has played well up to this point. They just allowed a fourth down conversion. But yeah, allowing 10 yards and four offensive plays, it's going to happen. It's going to happen as that's wide open. Clemens, big hit. ZL Griffin holds on, though. Oblad has plenty of time. It's been very slow and steady. What? How did he not go out of bounds there? It's been very slow and steady trying to win the race for the Rebels so far. We just haven't had too much of an answer. We've just kind of let them nickel and dime and move the ball down the field. Hall in the backfield. He got pancaked. Rice can't bring him down. Philip Workman for five. The Rebels are going to have the ball on like the one yard line. And come out in goal line and try to make a stop. But it's going to be very difficult to do so. We've seen what these backs can do. Workman going to stay in the game for UNLV. They're trying to live in the backfield with Hall. It's going to be an option. Quarterback keeper. Oh, Blad. Touchdown. Tie ball game. Second and four. We're just going to quick throw here to Reggie Gonzalez. Stay in bounds. Fight forward. Let's go, Reggie. I want to take deep shots to Michael Ham. If there's anyone that can make a big play happen out of nowhere, it's that guy. We just got to wait for our opportunities to, to make it happen. It can't be every play because... Uh, they just take it away sometimes. We just had to throw it away there with Byers. We can't take a sack in that spot. It's first down, dude. Just throw it away. Jacoby Winman with the sack. Now, we could have been dealing with an intentional grounding, but I think you rolled the dice. <laughs> I think you do. As uh, we're going to throw up the middle, Blake Hayford drops it. Sometimes it's just the way it goes. Sometimes things just don't go right. Is that safety coming up? Are you kidding me? 
They're basically giving us the first down. Blake Hayford not going to drop that one. 29 yards on third and 23. They brought up the safety. What are you doing? It's another guy I'm excited to watch get better next season. Blake Hayford. He's a true freshman. He's, you know, not exactly the main target of this offense. Kind of goes unsung a little bit. Unsung hero. But he's been pretty good. You know, not great, but pretty good. He's made some big plays. And he should get a lot better over the course of his Riverside career. We're talking about a guy that could be, you know, as high as like an 85 overall. Maybe even higher. Who knows? So this could be one of the premier tight ends in the nation. As we're going to try to get out with Byers. That's where we throw it away. We learned our lesson. They're kind of all over these quick throws. So what is that going to mean in the future? Well, I think you're going to know. It's going to mean that we try to stretch the field a little bit. It's not really a great situation to do it, as there's not really a lot of field to stretch at this point. About right to enter the green zone inside the 30. So, you know, they're going to be all over that. There's just not enough space for a guy like Michael Ham to outrun somebody over the top. Nice. He got bumped over the middle, and it hit him in the face. Fourth and three, we are going for it. That's very frustrating not to convert that. But yeah, over the course of the game, we are going to try and stretch the field vertically. As we're going to scramble with Byers here, this has got to be a first down. He's tackled from behind, but it is. Wide open over the middle. It's Aaron Duvall. Big gain for Aaron Duvall. What would you say his ranking is in the offense? I think it's probably... Well, we'll count the quarterback. We'll go Byers 1, Ham 2, Gonzalez... Probably Duvall, Humphreys, Collins, maybe? For like the guys who actually play. I see Humphreys. I just don't think we could fit it in. How bold is QB draw? We got we got him spread out pretty good. We're going up the middle. Good block. Byers took a huge hit. I mean, that was ugly. Got tripped up and just got hung out to dry. Yeah, he got up pretty slow. But he did get up. He's going to stay in the game. Gonzalez up the middle. I don't think they're ready for it. One-on-one. -on -one. Bowled him over. Reggie Gonzalez. Touchdown. Trains coming through. Get off the tracks. How many times have I said it? Big truck. Reggie Gonzalez just showing that the low man wins. Getting lower in the safety. And just sending him vertical to horizontal. 180. Oh, he's, that's going to be a touchdown. We already know how that goes. Oh, Clemens actually tackling. Recently, even though we are maybe a bend but don't break defense, we've been bending a little bit too much. Oh, Blad, plenty of time. We'll eventually throw it away. Now, we have looked pretty good against teams like Fresno State. Our defense has played really, really well. I feel like, and maybe it's just against Boise State, really, but I feel like our defense is kind of in... You know, a bit of a bit of a downward spiral, a bit of a downward trend at least. And that obviously needs to stop happening. It's a screen. Uh I, the controller disconnected it for, for half a second. I don't know why that keeps happening. And they kind of ruined that play. But they're gonna settle for a field goal try. Miss tackle there allows that to be fourth and two as opposed to like fourth and six. But they're gonna make it a four point game in 15 seconds I'm not gonna waste a time out i want him on offense there's a flag false start, false start. thank you offense. offensive penalties do stop the clock though so bad time for an offensive penalty we'll have a little bit more time now to score try to extend that lead before halftime oh georgia tech trying to beat number two georgia jameer gibbs having a pretty good game just transferred to Alabama in real life, by the way. So watch out for Jameer Gibbs in 2022. He was really good at Georgia Tech. Oh my God. And I'm sure we'll be very good at Alabama. So this is when we can try to stretch the field a little bit more. Just because we're not ready for it. You know what? That's just unfortunate. Michael Ham was getting open. But we opted instead to check down. And it was just a split second of when I was checking down that the DB got off Michael Ham. We're throwing it up deep now, though. Ham over the top. And it's caught! 
thought it was picked, but Michael Ham has a touchdown. He is so good at getting deep. Just fast, really, and he's been catching the ball. I thought that was nearly intercepted. But got right into the hands of Michael Ham, dropped in the bucket, maybe dropped right through the hands of the UNLV Rebel DB. I do not care. Touchdown either way. 21-10 Riverside. And we needed barely any time at all for that TD. 38 seconds, UNLV is in Riverside territory. They have a very, very good opportunity to put points up before the half. We just want to limit those points to three at the absolute most. So we'll do our best to contain them here. Just gonna play that over the middle. It's lobbed up. Dude, I, I can't with Tim Wash, and he just dove by himself. Alan Hart with the hit, football came out. I, I, I don't have a problem, I feel like, playing the ball with anybody else. Tim Washington either will drop the interception or never actually try to catch it. It's infuriating. Stretch right, Clemens, big hit! Reese will lose a yard, timeout UNLV. Third and five, we really can't get him out of field goal range. We had to hope for a turnover. Going to the end zone and out of the end zone. UNLV, I assume, will settle for a field goal try. Pretty makeable field goal, especially in a dome. So we can assume this is going to be 21-13, even though what do college kickers do? They miss. He actually hits this. 21-13, <laughs> 14 seconds to play. You know, without a miracle, I will see you in the second half. Threw an interception with Andy Byers to end the first half, just taking a shot down the field. And uh, this is the second half. Underway, UNLV will start with the football. And a touchdown and a two-point conversion will tie the game. Of course, we want to stop that from happening. Just explain football to you. It's the offense-defense dynamic. All right, Williams out in space. Brown corrals him, though. Check down Oblad. He's actually going to fire deep. Why can I not get an animation? I'm right there. I'm pressing triangle. Why is it so random whether it actually works or not? Oh my god. Big gain for the Rebels. And we're getting pushed down. Brown trying to save a touchdown. He does. This dude, Courtney, has nine rushes for over 100 yards. Too many times has that been the story with our defense this year. Just getting dominated by every running back known to man. Slant, touchdown. Marcus Phillips will put UNLV back right in contention to tie this game. Of course, they'll go for two. Oh, man. Get, been getting frustrated these past couple games. It's just the little things. I feel like we should have an interception. Instead, they get a 40-yard catch. And now a two-point conversion after the touchdown. 21-21. Third and five. I'm trusting Andy Byers on the read option. We're going to Gonzalez, though. He's up the middle. Good power from Reggie. Seven-yard first down. You know, he hasn't had an amazing game on the ground. Only six touches for 28 yards. Two touchdowns, though. So he's had that power on the goal line when we needed him to just punch it in. He's been that guy. I see him. I don't like it. We're just going to check down. Or not. Third and three. What are you going to do? Michael Ham open to why are you bouncing off the sideline? Oh, that's so frustrating. He's wide open. He is wide open. I identify him as wide open. I throw the ball and he bounces off the sideline. So the ball is not wide open to him on the sideline. It's thrown at the DB who Michael Ham is running at for some reason. It's one thing I don't miss about playing NCAA 14 is that right there. The bouncing off the sidelines. It's infuriating. Just sit down. Stay still. It's zone coverage. Stay open. 
Oblad trying to find somebody to throw to. He's just going to take off. Missed him. Just missed him. Trying to lay the hit. I'm getting a little frustrated. It's been... I feel like I'm getting cheated by the game. Uh, of course, I know you guys are going to see it a different way, some of you. But I feel like with the interceptable pass, the bouncing off the sideline right there, it's just frustrating, man. It's really, really annoying. It's just, it's the exact opposite thing. And I'm not going to harp on it for too long, right? I already have enough. But it's the exact opposite thing that a receiver's thought. If you're open, don't look for coverage. Especially in zone defense. Like, stay where you are. Unless the quarterback is working toward the other side of the field in like a scramble, you stay where you are. You let him find you. Otherwise, if he's scrambling, you know, work towards his throwing side at the time. Work open, but... You know, it's, it's rarely the case. Touchdown, ZL Griffin. Whew. All right. UNLV takes the lead. Big face mask sets us up with pretty good field positioning into UNLV territory. Tried to throw on the run there. I just, I just don't know what to do for some of these plays where it feels like nobody's open. And it's just a uh, rollout, try to buy time. Better than taking a sack, but we cannot throw on the run when those things happen. Gonzalez couldn't really do much. Fires getting out. Sacked. <laughs> I don't know what to do there. I don't know what to do. If I miss something, it's on me. Let's let's see. Let's see. Oh, the drag across is is wide open. Didn't see that. Needed to throw it there. Instead, I try to get out. What was it down in distance? It was like third and... It was third and eight. So, the, the drag probably would have put it close. So, that's a miss. Thought we could really just control the clock. But, uh... Unfortunately, I'm the best punter of all time. On the half yard line. Let's make a play defense. Let's forget about the offense. Make a play defense. Fullback dive. Oh no. See, is it more the defense not functioning in the past couple weeks? Or has it been the offense's inability to actually put up points the way we're accustomed to? I don't know. I, I think it's a little bit of both. I feel like usually up to this point, we'd have more than 21 points. It's not an extremely low amount. It also isn't a high amount for at least to where we're accustomed. And we've allowed 28. I mean, the defense needs to be better, plain and simple. So that's how we make a play, Craig Jackson, but you don't finish. You don't finish. Like, what's the point of making contact in the backfield if you barely even slow him down? Oh, chase him down. That's a tackle. That's a tackle right there. I mean, it really looks like a run left. Tight end back across. He still could come over. He's going to. Quick throw to Phillips, who's tackled. Only a two-yard completion. Third and eight. You know, I've been fooled before with thinking my defense could make a stop in these scenarios. They don't want to come out in zone defense. I don't want to just give it to him. Oblad. Under pressure. He'll get sacked. Finally. Somebody's making a play. It's Craig Jackson making up for his missed tackle earlier. We'll get the football back. Good stuff, defense. Good stuff. Finally. Finally. A lot of saying stuff twice on that. Uh, that, that third down stop. But you know what? Emphasis is important. Okay. Down by a touchdown. Let's get a touchdown. What has worked for us in the past? It's a good question. I think I got to throw a lot of that out the window. Because what I'm, I'm used to have work. What I'm used to working has not exactly worked in this game. Like my brain for one. I need Michael Ham to do something. Do something. Up the seam. Big catch. Michael Ham trying to stay on his feet. He's to midfield. All right. That's something all right. We just got to get it to our best receiver. That's all. Michael Ham. Be faster. Get over the top. Make a play. Humphreys, though. Dropped it. It's a face mask, though. Still counts. 
There it is, face mask. All right. Fires under pressure on the run, short of Gonzalez, and it's third and ten. I feel like it, when the first read isn't open, I just don't know what to do beyond that because the second read is never open either when the first read's not. You see, I wanted Elgin Collins, but he was on a post, but he was so open that if I don't throw it to him, I'm saying, well, he was wide open, but it's a, it's a post, man. He's going to run right back at the safety. All right. Fourth and 10. Game is not on the line yet. Want to make that clear. The game is not on the line yet. There's still plenty of time. We get it to Hayford. He's going to be short. Uh, I, I didn't like any of the options. <laughs> Dude, I can't move the ball anymore. I, what's happening? up the middle hall it's this it's the small micro adjustments that the running back makes that an ncaa 14 makes them untackleable in the gap because you're aiming for where they are if you make a little adjustment you're gonna be sent flying the other way if they make a little adjustment not tackleable he's not gonna break that for the fr uh, all right like i i got possessed with the uh Demon of missed tackles there. I, I I can't believe that though. Thankfully, Hall tackles him for a loss there. Still in the game. Can't deal with back-to-back -back losses. I mean, we had so many of them in the first two seasons. Season three has gone so well, taking so many strides, and to be going into our bowl game, first ever bowl game on a two-game losing streak, does not exactly sit well with me. So we need this defense make some plays. Hopefully our offense can wake up. You know what it is? It's not enough read option. That's what it is. Figured it out. Not enough read option. Now, defensively, your guess is as good as mine. But offensively, we need to run more read option. I don't know why I'm not doing it more. We got out of it last game trying to add a new playbook. But I'm back in the air raid. This has been our, our playbook the entire series. So... We're going to score next drive, courtesy of the read option. They're trying to get us to jump with the hard count. Nobody on their offensive lines jumping, though. Just killing so much clock. It's so boring. Play action, throw quick. That's wide open. So I thought I was switching on to Brown. Switch me on to the trail player for some reason. 23-yard catch. It's not looking good for the Royals. Read option. Joel Pitts, nice tackle. I'll tell you this. I absolutely cannot wait to play UNLV in Season 4. Uh, that one's going to be start on the calendar. It's the making me wait that's driving me particularly insane right now. Uh, We're going to blow the freaking barn doors off him. Accidentally jumped trying to move my D-lineman, by the way, in Joel Pitts. Uh, I, I can't even believe it. I, I'm going to kill this team Defense. next year. They might have our number here uh, next season. Oh. Still down. Uh, I would hate to be you and LV. You can, you can mark my words, mark it on the calendar. You and LV will be absolutely destroyed. Paul, nice tackle. Football came out. Get to it. I don't even know if he was down, but uh, yeah, they're still making me wait. It's hilarious, dude. It does it, the review doesn't matter? It was definitely down. That's fine. Listen, we're gonna lose the game. It's gonna take a miracle. They've uh, they've poked the bear. They they've ignited the fire. They will be crushed into oblivion in the future. So happy about that. We're gonna throw slant touchdown. It's unstoppable. Unstoppable here. Best case scenario, we need an onside kick. That's where we are. Sick. Love that. Michael Ham up the seam. I wanted to lead the ball towards the inside, and the ball was thrown like at the DB. Tried to swerve and get it. Could never make the adjustment back to the football. I almost just want to knee the ball. 
admit defeat, but it's not like us. We're going to do our best to come back. It's just we needed a big play like that. 27 yards to Elgin Collins for his first catch of the game. We are still in it. We just we need a lot of things to go our way. That's it. We're going deep. Ham. Not a good throw. I, I know it's, oh, you took him away. It was a bad throw. The only way to even possibly get that to be a catch was to do what I tried to do. And it just didn't work out. Second and 10. Play action because maybe they think we're going to run it. We're going deep. That's what happens when you don't switch on. They don't try to catch it. So there's that. Leaving in Reggie Gonzalez to block. We're looking deep down the field. If somebody gets open, great. Humphreys has just enough space. He catches it. We're going to save that final timeout. Obviously, it doesn't matter if we don't get the... Uh, the touchdown to begin with and it doesn't matter if we don't get the onside kick but you know we we're gonna hope going deep it's gonna end up being triple coverage reed couldn't come down with it wasn't triple coverage when i threw it it was an open corner route the ball floated we don't have the arm 17 seconds to go humphreys is nowhere to be found that's open and it's missed it's a touchdown you idiot andy byers they want me to run quarterback draw what are we doing? Fire the offensive coordinator. Fourth and ten. Throwing for Ham. And Ham picks it off. Ham caught it. You know what? I'll take that. I threw it to Ham and Ham caught it. Touchdown. We're right back in it. Back-to-back -back losses. 35-21. Uh, I mean, l losing legitimately frustrates me. I mean, I guess it should, right? I'm, I'm invested in the dynasty as much if not more than you guys are you obviously wish the result was different but we are going to drop two in a row en route to our first uh, bowl game ever just haven't played well enough the offense has been worse than it has been the rest of the season these past two games and the defense you know has just continued to struggle it's just an unfortunate set of circumstances where bottom line is we have to play better. Three picks. One of them doesn't matter. Two of them really don't matter, but one in there was avoidable probably. Reggie Gonzalez had two touchdowns. It was tough to run the football. I mean, 10 for 26 with Byers is tough. Some of those were sacks. Michael Hamm had five catches for 168 and a touchdown. I know it's, oh, get the ball to John Humphreys more. No. Uh, every time I do, it does not end well. I'm not going to force it. If he's open and I miss him, it, it just sucks. That's what happened. That's fine. Four tackles for loss for Greg Hall. Sack for Craig Jackson. No picks, obviously. Frustrating game. That's really all I can say. Forced fumble for Allen Hart went out of bounds. Just uh, we're going to bounce back in the bowl game, and I'm looking forward to season four. That's really where we are. Texas held on to beat Kansas State. Pitt over Miami. You have Rutgers beating Cincy. Syracuse over number 23, Maryland, and then Hawaii put the beat down on Wyoming. I over Kent State as well. Coach Dengus is now level 13. Yeah, it was a nightmare game, man. I mean, I can't really say much else than I wish we played better. I wish I played better. Uh, can't win them all. I know I've said that every time we lose, but, you know, eventually we will be winning them all. And the series will be a little bit less interesting. And then maybe it'll be time for a conference change. Right now, can't worry about that. We are done with the regular season. We did our very best to win the Mountain West. And as you can see, we were able to win our division. However, Boise State was 6-1 and one in conference play and would finish with a better record than we did. Now, this will not change even with the Boise State loss this week. They went 4-0 in their division. They played well. They deserved to win. But all, even though they won the Mountain, we won the West. But as you'll see here in a minute, this season is far from over. And, I mean, kitchen sink is still so important. But 1,500 extra report, uh, recruiting points in the offseason and a 5% chance to steal a prospect from their top school, I do think is particularly important for right now. So I am going to be getting letter of intent. I can't believe I've left kitchen sink. It's the last two times I could have upgraded and got kitchen sink and I've chose other things, but I think they're more relevant at this time. 
I've decided to add a few more players to the board here at the end too, just because again, not a lot of guys are going after him, or not a lot of schools are, I should say. So we could be in the conversation to land these guys in the off season. Like maybe someone ends up being a super good recruit. You never know, but I figure might as well add them to the board. No harm, no foul. But as you will see, our season is very far from over, as I guess we'll continue it in this episode, as we might be getting an extra game as well. Hey, Willie Hollins has decided to commit to our team. BJ Rogers locked us out. I don't care. We just don't need him anymore. That's great. BJ Rogers, you were on the board for a while. We wasted 500 points on you every week. And that's cool. You're really fast. He would be fun to use. Decent arm. Pretty accurate, actually. Good receiver. I mean, certainly good. But, yeah, it, it's all right. We're not getting back in that in that fight, in that battle. Ooh, Clint Black. It's going to be a tough one to, to win. Are we even in position for any of these guys? Corey Foster, I don't think so. Are there any that are particularly close? I mean, we can, we can see how good some of these guys are. Our Jake Abrams, I've already had scouted before. Matt Pugh, who we had forever. Decided to go to Hawaii. It's fine. Getting Willie Hollins is big. He's a 77 overall three star. Plus seven gem. Really good at defending the run. That's exactly what we need. Plus eight gem for Derek Smith. What is he? He's got 95 juke. He is probably a receiver. Could be a running back. Carrying's real. He's probably a receiver. He's a huge gem, though. I mean, I, I might as well try. Anthony Adams, major bust. Gerard Smith is okay. JJ White, eh. Whatever. Gerard Smith. Is there a chance we can get him? What What is he? He is... an offensive player. He's probably a receiver. Ah, kind of out. Tommy Wilson has 98 acceleration. It's not that fast, but it'll get up to that not so fast speed pretty quickly. And we don't really have anything to lose. Looks like Sam Wesley is going to be going to Hawaii as well. I don't care. Can't pretend to care. Recruiting battle for Terrence Brown. We knew that was going to be the case. And BJ Rogers, yep, has locked us out. We did get points for those guys visiting, but recruiting time is over. BJ Rogers, we can take off the board. Terrence Brown is probably our biggest priority guy who just, by the way, made us his number one school. Like, we're fighting for some of these guys. We're close. It's a battle, though. The offseason is going to be incredibly important to win some of these close races. It really will be. Tommy Wilson is winnable, by the way. The 98 Excel player. Don't know how important that is, but... You know, he's a... He's pretty good. As far as recruiting classes go, currently at a top 25 class, two five stars, two four stars, mostly three stars, but not a whole lot of signed prospects, signed recruits at this point. And that is unbelievable, by the way. Hawaii went eight and four with a better conference record and has jumped us in the rankings. UNLV as well. So we will not be playing in the conference championship. We finished third behind five and seven UNLV. With a win, we would be playing in the conference championship. Instead, we're gonna have to wait another season. Oh, that's so sad. We'll be playing in the SoFi Hawaii Bowl against seven and five Rice from Houston. And, uh... Man, I, I mean, we, we blew it with a loss. We would have been playing in the conference championship instead. We're going to bowl season. Will Levis won the Heisman. And as you can see, Riverside will play Rice in the SoFi Hawaii Bowl. The day before Christmas. Put that one on the calendar. But that will be next episode. The final game of the season. And then we have the offseason episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.
See me high step to the end zone. My life like a game Nintendo. Play with the best, let them know. Get off the track, the train's coming through. Yeah. Promise you get in my way, then you best believe I'ma just run over you. Yeah, yeah. I'ma turn taking it back to the house. Defense a joke, I'm laughing so loud.